Agus Wade and welcome everyone to Agus Wade back in garden with me Mitchell Juno Wade I do apologize my voice is sort of hoarse right now I do apologize of course I want to thank you guys so very much for subscribing thank you for supporting Agus Wade back in garden as we start 2022 I know this will be the first video for 2022 although Christmas season is long gone um, but the sorrel plant is no longer a Christmas plant persons are able to harvest as early as September October and for the next year as far as March April oftentimes it's described as a Christmas plant because of the short daylight that occurs during the Christmas season hence the reason why you often find soil will produce a lot or more abundantly sometime between November and January of course we have five pots five soils five plants in five pots <laughs> so we're going to harvest all the soil today Full moon, I believe, is somewhere on the 20th or the 21st of January. So I'm also going to show you what I'm going to do to hopefully cause the plant to send out new branches to produce again before the end of the season sometime in February, March. Of course, um, the plant do not have a lot of soil on it, but it have enough that I can say I'm very grateful for the opportunity to harvest some soil. As you can see, most of the plants have three or four main branches. So that one has one, two, three, four this one down there which you might not be able to see but it has one two three um this one behind me has one two three four and just one on the side most of them have three to four branches with sorrel i'm going to try my best to harvest all of them okay um so that the plant can send out new branches and new leaves so we're going to first start with the closest one to me i will start with this one um i would like the soil to send out some more branches okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to get Get the branch together right and i'm going to cut it like right here so i'm going to cut it here same thing for this one i'll cut it underneath here the hope is that it will set up new branches below that is why i'm cutting like that and i'm now going to cut off all the soil fruits or all the soil flowers because if you did not know soil is actually um, a type of flower it's like a hibiscus flower okay so i'm just going to cut out all the flower it's just a flower with a very hard um petal let's go ahead and cut it off yes i know soil usually send out an actual flower but in in reality the soil plant is part of the hibiscus flower. okay so this is the height i'm going to leave the soil plant I'm also going to remove some of the big leaves so that will cause the plant to send out new leaves and new growth because the plant will feel to itself in need to survive so it will send out new branches and new leaves okay so here's it that's how it will look I'm also going to prune the top here I know it, it's really not you know this is a nice small soil but I need to cut it so it could send up some branches on this one right here and then I'm going to do this one also, so it could send some branches here. I'm gonna remove that center one here, and this one at the bottom here. Okay, so here it is. We have all four branches, and hopefully by March it's on new flowers and new leaves and new branches, so that it could produce once more. As someone asked me before, should they um, go ahead and prune the plant after they harvest? And I told them yes you need to prune the plant after you harvest so that the plant can send out new branches and new growth okay you need to do that it is very important that you do that that is how you get more soil um, from one plant ensure that you prune and try your best to have them all at one height so that when it sends out new leaves it all comes off nice and bushy and not out of hand okay so i'm just gonna cut the top here I don't think I need this one I will should I leave it I'll leave this one but I'll cut the top I'm gonna harvest this soil right here and I will leave this soil this one I will leave it because you know it still has not sent out an actual flower so it basically has not bloomed as yet I'm going to cut off the leaves right so that the plants can start to send out some new leaves and new branches I'm gonna leave this one this one looks healthy this this leaf here looks nice and healthy so I'll leave it okay so here is for another plant okay 
put this one up here. Oh, this one looks huge. This one looks like a good, good bit on there. But again, I'm just going to decide on a certain height and just cut it off. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it. Try also your best to cut the branch where you see like the most successful chance of a branch coming off. So as you can see here, this small one here, it's nice and green. It would not make sense that I cut it off. So I'm going to cut above it, okay? I'll cut above it so that it can become a new branch right there. And then I'm going to cut off this sorrel right here. I'll cut off this one also. Try not to remove the potential new branches. So try your best to do this properly, okay? I'm gonna maybe take this one here also. And uh, this one, let's see. I'm going to cut it right above here. Yes. And then gonna remove all leaves. Unless of course one looks nice and healthy. But I'm going to try my best to remove all the leaves. Cut off the soil. Let the plant start back the process of producing again. Okay, cut off this leaf, this leaf. Uh, I will cut this here also. And um, this one, I will cut this right here. So I've cut this here. So here we have it. And then remove all of those. Sorry. This one looks like it has not actually bloomed as yet. So here is our sorrel plant. So hopefully it's so not new branches. Now what I'm going to do, of course, I'm going to now add up some soil in there so that the plant's system, because as you will see when I bring the camera closer, it's the roots basically, it's a bit exposed because it's very windy here and it's very rainy um so i'm going to actually add some soil to it to support the base of the soil plant okay guys so here's the situation i was explaining to you as you can see the roots basically they are exposed i'm going to show you another one where the root system is a bit exposed right here as you can see all this here this right here is the root system um, so what we're gonna do basically I'm gonna add in some soil but I need to straighten it because as you can see it's going towards this direction it's because of, of the wind so I'm going to kind of straighten it out and then add up some soil now this is a mixture of cow manure um, potted soil and compost uh, material okay so just gonna kind of give it a push towards that direction right there to get it nice and healthy and of course we're gonna add some leaves here okay just adding up some leaves even some of the sorry leaves what I just cut off just gonna add some to it the leaves as it breaks down will provide nutrients to the soil but it's also going to be like a cover-up for the soil to prevent the wind from blowing it away and also to retain moisture okay okay guys so here we have our harvest from our five sorrel or rosel potted plants it was a good harvest of course Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If there's a question you would like to ask, go ahead and leave a comment below. I will be doing a series of videos, or maybe one video, I'm not quite sure, where I answer all the questions that have been asked because I checked out the comment section and there is a lot of comments. I do apologize, I am a bit tied up with work. Um, so that's the reason why oftentimes I'm not able to type a lengthy reply. So what I'm going to try to do is just do like a recording as I'm reading the questions and um, as i'm reading the question i will answer verbally to you and explain even better thank you so very much for subscribing don't forget to like the video and share it if there's a plant or something that you would like me to plant leave a comment i will try my best to go ahead and plant it for you once i have the seed or seedling available okay thank you so very much and i grow is out